Hello, I am Dr. Donald John Babu. I am a surgical oncologist at Reliance Hospital, New Bombay. Today is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and I'll be discussing a few salient features of breast cancer, the causes, how to diagnose one and how to treat breast cancer. In my opinion, there are four main causes of breast cancer. The first one being the female gender itself. All ladies between the age of 13 to 50 go through the periodic cycles of bleeding. Now during this 28 to 30 day cycle of bleeding, one has a surge of chemicals. In medical language, we call them hormones. Once the hormones settle, there is bleeding. Now these hormones consist a lot of steroids, which are mainly the estrogen and the progesterone. Now these are the hormones that are primarily responsible for the tumors of the breast and the ovary. So when I said the female gender is the most common cause, what I mean is more exposure to estrogen and progesterone would naturally be the cause of breast cancer. In today's world, when females have lesser number of children, females tend to marry late, not have children, or not marry at all. What happens is, during pregnancy, your menstrual cycle comes to a halt, which means the secretion of estrogen and progesterone that generally happens comes to a halt. More the number of children, more the number of months when you do not have your periods. Also, periods stop during lactation. So on an average, a single pregnancy would mean 15 months of not having your menstrual cycle, which means 15 months of not having estrogen or progesterone. This also means that the more number of children, the more number of months when you do not have your menstrual cycle. So what we have observed is that people of this generation are having more number of breast cancers. Now this is a hypothesis. We cannot prove it. Breast cancer diagnosis has improved over time. The population has increased. Awareness is more. Hence, we see a number of increased cases of breast cancer. Thus, we can also conclude that most likely one of the main causes of breast cancer could be nulliparity or not having children, having lesser children, marriage at a later age or not getting married at all. So that brings us to the first reason for breast cancer. Now the second reason for breast cancer is what I call the metabolic syndrome. Now when I say metabolic syndrome, it generally means, it generally refers to the obesity around the waist and the hip. Now when I say obesity, I generally mean the fat deposition around the waist and the hip. So it is important to measure yourself, the measure the ratio of your height to your weight, what we call as the body mass index. Generally, if my height is 5'9", I should ideally weigh between 68 and 70 kgs. Now, what is so important about the fat that gets deposited around your waist and the hip? This fat generally secretes small amounts of estrogen. It is also called estrone in medical terms. Unlike the estrogen that is produced during a menstrual cycle, this estrogen is not regulated by the brain. It doesn't have a cycle, 
so it is continuously being produced by the fat inside the body so when i say metabolic syndrome it means that you've put on weight you're not regularly exercising and uh, this control of your diet and your physical exercises would mean you can get your weight down to a proportion that is suitable for your height now this fat that can be reduced this fat that is generally controlled by the amount you eat and amount of physical training that you endure during a day generally doctors recommend around 45 minutes of exercise per day so one should generally be sure enough about what amount of weight gain they are having the third reason is the diet that you have it is also assumed that the red meat and the food that is very high in glucose fast food the oils they are all rich in some amount of steroid hormones now like i've mentioned before these steroids can also cause a lot of malignancies which includes breast cancer ovarian colorectal cancers they all seem to be related to the food especially the food containing these steroid hormones fourth and one of the very common causes of breast cancer is also the hereditary causes when i say hereditary it means two primary relatives in your family having related cancers like breast or ovary it could be your mom your sister when you say your aunt had breast cancer it is generally a secondary relative so we have a few criteria to know if the cancers are hereditary is generally two primary relatives or one primary and two secondary relatives which means you will have to get your genetics tested simply because these genes might be running inside your body so uh, like i've mentioned these are the four main causes of breast cancer all these causes of breast cancer are not proven they are hy hypothesized these are postulates and generally we feel these are the main causes other than the genetic causes the diet the weight that you put in and the hormones in your body are generally the causes that we think can cause breast cancer now what do you do when you detect breast cancer generally a female will feel a lump in the breast it could be redness around the nipple there could be a nipple discharge or it could be just a routine testing of your breast by a mammogram or a sonography once you detect this breast cancer we generally go for a biopsy and a scan which is generally a pet scan if you can afford it a pet scan is expensive it comes to the tune of around 15000 rupees once you know that it is breast cancer by confirming it with a biopsy and you stage the breast cancer using a pet scan we proceed with the treatment now treatment for a lady that is less than 65 years old or a lady who insists on having of retaining her breast we generally offer a breast conservative surgery which means we do not remove the entire breast and we preserve the part of the breast we only remove the tumor and re and retain the rest of the breast if required breasts could be reconstructed by a plastic surgeon so we not only remove a part of the breast we also dissect the lymph nodes around the breast now this is as far as surgery is concerned we also offer the patient chemotherapy radiation and hormonal therapy so without getting into details of any of this therapy i would like to say that the treatment offered can be uh, there are four modalities of treatment one is surgical one is radiation uh, one is chemotherapy and fourth is hormonal therapy so going back and starting from what i have said before the four main causes of breast cancer your menstrual cycle the diet your weight and hereditary 
How do you diagnose them? It could be a lump in the breast, redness, some kind of nipple discharge or a routinely done mammogram. How do you, di how do you diagnose it? It could be a PET scan, a biopsy. What are the treatment options? Surgery, chemo, radiation and hormonal therapy. One last point, how do you catch breast cancer at an early stage? I would recommend all women above the age of 40 to go through a sonography of the breast or a mammogram of the breast annually. Thank you.